How's it going, everybody? Happy Monday from the Seacrest Studio here at Children's Hospital, Colorado. My name is Chris. I'm hanging down here with you in the studio, and I've got buddies hanging here with me virtually on the good old Zoom call, uh, but it's a very special one because my friend Maya is there. Maya, are you there? Hi. Yes, she is. Maya, how are you today? I'm great. I might even say you're fantastic uh, yeah. because you got a surprise for us. What, what do you have today? Uh, Pico Alexander is calling in. We got Pico Alexander on Maya's show. Very special day, very special. Maya, take it away. Um, so first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for calling in. I really can't believe uh, I'm talking to you right now. I've been trying to interview you for like five years, so I'm so excited this is happening. Oh my gosh, yeah, me too. Really happy to be here, Maya. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so my first question for you is what first sparked your interest in acting? Great first question, Maya. Um... I'd say the thing that first sparked my interest in acting was probably visiting my dad who works in film as a director of photography, so a cameraman, um, visiting him on set when I was young. Uh, I think that was it, you know, C going to a movie set and seeing, I, I, I like this memory of a car falling off a a bridge into a river. I think they were shooting some kind of a stunt. I think it was the movie Copland. I, I, to be honest with you, I, Maya, I don't really remember what it was, but I think that was like stuff like that. I was like, whoa, I didn't know people did. I didn't know people threw cars off bridges. Wow. Yeah, yeah. right? Great. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you played Harry in the movie Home Again, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. No way! Um, yeah, it's I I watch it all the time. I just Aww. it's one of my comfort movies. So that's that's <laughs> great to hear. Um. So what was the best part of playing Harry? Um, well, right now, what's coming to the top of my head is that I, I made, um, I made great, great friends with John Rudnitsky, who I think had come on the show before, right? Is yeah. that true? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, that, you know, it's, it's when you work on, so I worked on home again, probably something like five years ago now, maybe, probably, maybe more, maybe six, seven. So you know, you work on something and then you start, you work on a bunch of different things. And so looking back, the, the, the thing that I have left over from home again in my life now is this friendship with, uh, with John, um, which is awesome. But I, I, I just have a lot of pleasant memories of, uh, hanging out with Nat as well. Um, I ended up moving in with Nat and um we lived together we were like wanted to get in the mood of you know what would it be like to be brothers kind of a thing so we were like living together and kind of doing everything together and um that was a really sweet time um not to mention uh just the opportunity to work with reese you know such a big actor growing up i had known so much about her and um yeah. it definitely felt really surreal it was like the first job i had where i uh, I kind of felt like, whoa, I can't believe this is happening, you know? Yeah. I, I went, I flew to LA to do a screen test with Reese for um, uh, uh, a movie that Nancy Myers was producing. It just felt so crazy. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah um, John was actually, I messaged him right after uh, I got our interview set up. I was like, guess who I'm interviewing on Monday? Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah, John, yeah, he's great, huh? He's so funny, isn't he? Yeah. I feel like he's like the funny, one of the funniest guys I know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I um I remember the first time my family and I watched Home again. We were all saying we were like, we need a, these characters in our lives. We need a George, a Harry, a Teddy. <laughs> yeah, why don't they come live with us? Yeah. I know. Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah. Um. So when did you see it first? Do you remember? Did you see it in a theater or what? Yeah, I didn't. I saw it. Uh, I feel like I saw it for the first time, like, I think a year after it came out, because I right. wanted to, I wanted to see it since it came out, but I wasn't able to. So finally, no, I no got to watch it, and I was so excited. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so and, uh, you said your family. So do you have any uh, brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have a twin sister. Twin, identical yeah. or or fraternal? Fraternal. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and it's just the two of you? Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. us and our mom. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I always imagined, I guess maybe it's a little different if you're not identical twins, but I always imagined you would, uh, you could like do secret agent type stuff and <laughs> go to yeah. one class or go to another class, pretend to be the other twin, you know? Yeah. You were in another one of my favorite movies, no Summer way. Days, Summer Nights. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that movie and Home Again are they are just two of my comfort movies. I watch them like all the time. So, um, so I was wondering how that opportunity came about. Um, with uh with this with the summertime movie right yeah um i'd say summertime i think that was like going to be originally the title maybe so i don't know if i'm allowed to say that <laughs> summertime summertime anyway uh we i think for that one i just went in for an audition you know i i auditioned for um i think from what i remember the character that i ended up playing JJ had already been cast. And for whatever reason, some kind of a scheduling conflict, maybe the actor who was originally going to play him, like had to drop out. So really close to the start date, um, I, I auditioned for uh, Ed Burns, the director who's great. And, um, and yeah, we got along well and he, he cast me in it. Although, I remember when I read the script, I, I kind of wanted to audition for the role of, uh, uh, what was his name? Um, the guy on the motorcycle. What's his name in it? You remember? Uh, I or he don't actually, know. No, they, cut the, they cut the motorcycle. There's no motorcycle. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I don't. I was just watching the movie right before no, this no, no. interview, and I don't remember a motorcycle. <laughs> no, no, no. They ended up cutting the motor. It was originally supposed to be on a motorcycle, and I like. I think I had just gotten my motorcycle license, and I was thinking, oh, I want to ride on a motorcycle. <laughs> they ended up cutting it. It was the other guy. It was like the rock and roll guy, the guy who plays the, the concert. Um, Is it Teddy yeah. or Theo? I've, I'm forgetting. I'm a bad, bad actor, yeah. forgetting the names of the characters of the movie. <laughs> yeah. I did not prepare. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was the um, best thing you learned from being a part of an ensemble cast? I don't know what the best thing I learned. I think, you know, I think a lot of the casts that I've been a part of have been like younger casts. So actors who are sort of in the beginning of their career. And um, that's a time where everybody's, you know, very optimistic and wants, yeah. they have all these dreams and ambitions um, about what could happen in their career and um, the roles that they want to play and the people that they want to work with. So everybody's very hopeful and very excited. And um, that can sometimes make for uh, just such a fun time together, you know, everybody like you, you feel you feel like like you're at summer camp together, you know, and um, 
And I think I learned to uh, really treasure those people and the time that we had, we have together, um, you know, whether it's all like living in one hotel, uh, realizing that, you know, that's a really special time for all of us. And um, we, ne- we, we most likely will never be in that uh, group of people again, uh, in that one place again. Um, yeah. So, so I think what I learned from being in an ensemble co- cast is like, you know, really to take everybody in and, and um, you know, just be, take, take, take the time that's given to you and, and enjoy spending it with the people that you're surrounded with. I've been so lucky to have um, just awesome people around me. Um, and I've made some really great memories. Like right now I'm thinking about when I worked on catch 22 um, yeah. and I was in, in Italy with uh, a bunch of like young guys who, uh, you know, were all actors and all had already done some things, but, you know, wanting to do more things. And there was just like a place in time. Uh, yeah. Not so much that we were in Italy and yeah, it's just real special, you know, to have all those dinners together and hang out on set together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really warm and special time. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, so you were also in, uh, like you just said, Catch-22, Hot Air, um, The Honeymoon, Dickinson, among other things. Um, of these roles, has there been one that you related to the most? I think the I did a movie a couple years ago. Well, I did. I did the, the honeymoon movie was a lot of fun to do, and um, that uh, related to I don't know. I mean, I did this movie Sky Is Everywhere, um, and I think that was like you know very sad uh character who was going through loss uh, the loss of the love of his life and uh i remember getting pretty attached to him and sort of what he was going through and um i was like worried that maybe i wouldn't be able to pull it off you know and um yeah and so i spent i think an extra amount of extra time to uh to really focus in on what it would feel like to be going through what he was. And uh, so it was a sort of a sentimental time in my life. I think we were also, we we're also shooting in Northern California um, in um, w- where the redwoods are, you know, the, the well, redwood forests. Um, the redwoods. Not the redwoods, really. The redwoods are like, I think you can, I think they're like most featured in Jurassic Park, but the Redwoods are just these huge trees. They're just really big trees. Um, And I think they only grow in Northern California and maybe a part of Japan. I like might totally be screwing it up, but Mm -hmm. I think they're only in that one place. And um, I mean, they're huge, these trees. They're really big. Um, And so yeah we were shooting up there by the redwoods and um it's called humboldt county this place in california and uh it's known i think also as the foggy belt i think it has to do with the forest and the ocean being there it creates all this fog so the the whole place is like really foggy so i have like all these memories of i was also living alone in a house um so like getting in the car and driving to set and you know it was always like foggy and these big trees it kind of had this like you know mysterious magical yeah. flavor to it that was like a cool time for me i think with the character too yeah uh yeah i i, I think all i meant to say really is that the redwoods these big trees 
uh, really made an impact on me <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and like helped me get in the mood of the character that I was playing. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <that's, it's> okay. <laughs> I'm over here rambling about the redwoods and the fog of the Humboldt County, whatever. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I was going to say when you were saying it's foggy, I was like, that would freak me out. I think I've seen too many scary things with fog. And so. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a, it's definitely spooky, yeah. but there's something kind of like, um, like I'm thinking about, have you seen James and the Giant Peach? I haven't. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, I think fog is a little spooky, but it can also kind of be mysterious and yeah, and kind of fun. Yeah. But hey, maybe not. You know. <laughs> um, You're like, so I hate the fog. I hate the redwoods. Forget it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna go to any place that like reminds me of a horror movie. No, no. So <laughs> you're like Northern California. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've actually um been to Los Angeles a few times, and that is like my favorite place in the world. So Ooh, you love it. <laughs> yeah. I do. What's your, um, what was like your favorite part of, of LA? I don't know. It was, uh, whenever my family and I are there, we've been a couple times and whenever, whenever we're there, we always go to the Grove, which is really fun. What's the Grove? Uh, um, it's like this like big kind of outdoor, like, shopping center oh. I, I don't really know i think that's how got, somebody got, else explains shopping. so well no it's just fun to like walk around and yeah, look it up um like so we don't like go shopping but it's fun to like, just walk around and kind of walk in oh, and out yeah, it looks places. great so Oh, it looks pretty. And there's like um, cool water fountains and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like LA too. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. I really like, uh, I like driving in LA. You know, I'm from New York, so that's like, yeah. I don't really drive here too much. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to go to New York. <laughs> oh yeah. You have to so, come for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm trying There's to. No fog. What? There's no fog. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Good. As long <laughs> as it's not uh, entering a horror movie. When yeah. You... No, no. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. May probably not. No. No horror. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. I was gonna say depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Maybe for different reasons. <laughs> no, yeah. No. <laughs> no, no. Um. Uh. So what has been, uh, sorry, I just completely forgot. Did I already ask you what oh, no, has me. been your most stressful audition experience? No, you haven't okay. asked me. <laughs> okay, I have such a bad memory, so I couldn't remember it. No, that's, no, same here, same here. Um, <laughs> that is a great question. I have had a, a number a very stressful audition experience. <laughs> there was one time where I, um, I had, it wasn't an, well, I guess that's a cheat cheating then because it's not really an answer to the question, but I had a meeting. Yeah. I had a meeting once. Um, and I thought that in the meeting I was offered the role. Um, and I found out only the next day that, that I wasn't actually offered the role. So there was like a weird misunderstanding and that was pretty stressful. <laughs> Maybe oh. after the fact. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think there've been a lot. I think I use, I just block them out of my mind. You know, I just pretend oh. they never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there have been some things that like my mom and I've, talked about that i'm like i don't remember this because 
I think I blocked it out of my mind because yeah. I was like, either it wasn't like a good experience or something. I just blocked it out. So I yeah. don't remember what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, maybe how I feel with the stressful <laughs> auditions. I'll think about it while we keep talking. If anything funny pops up, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. I don't think they're funny. Most of the time, it's just like a bad feeling. You know, you're in the room and you can't, the lines are not coming and or or you just feel uncomfortable feel like not yeah. grounded and just yeah uh -huh. it's not great yeah. yeah uh so what personality trait has gotten you in the most trouble um <laughs> um the what personality trait I don't know. Maybe I like to be like sometimes uh, sh shocking, you know, I misread the room. So I think that somebody will find something funny and um, they don't find it funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> when you're having a bad day, what do you do to make yourself feel better? Um talk to you uh no i no, no. i think what do i do to make myself feel better um good question maybe no, i gotta come up with some better answers i guess i should have some answers right on the cusp you know, right on the tip of my tongue i i i um what do i do i like to probably the best thing to do is go outside you know go yeah. for a walk. see a yeah. friend Watch a movie? Yeah. <laughs> These are all good ones. Um, I like to play video games sometimes, so maybe play a video game. Probably not, though, actually. That might not be a good one. Um, take a bath. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, how about you? Um, probably, uh, I like like going for a walk or like doing something active yeah um, and then i watch like one of my favorite movies or shows and that's how <laughs> i just deal with like when i'm in a bad mood and then also like today i went before the interview i was just having a hard time with something so talking with you has made me feel so much better oh hey likewise i think I, i'd say the exact same thing is true for me <laughs> i'm glad we were able to help each other a little today <laughs> me too yeah. Yeah. thanks um, yeah um so if somebody narrated your life who would you want the narrator to be oh that's great these questions are so good maya what the heck <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh God, you should be working for one of these big companies or something, man. <laughs> um, what do I think? I don't know. Maybe like uh, Tom Waits <laughs> or Michael Shannon <laughs> or Werner Herzog. <laughs> oh, cool. What do you think? How about yours? Oh, that's hard. Um, I don't know. I, uh, now I'm, I'm blanking on everyone that, uh, maybe, maybe you could narrate the story of my life. Oh, I, I'd like that. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll make sure my people call you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm up for the job. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. You would do good. Yeah. I love <laughs> these you. questions. Well, thank you. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> thank you. Um, so what movie or show always makes you laugh, no matter how many times you've seen it? Um, well, well, I'm watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia right now, um, mm -hmm. which really cracks me up. And uh, I, I especially love watching bloopers of shows. But you know what really gets me is um, 
which show I love and I can't wait for the third season is um, I Think You Should Leave uh, with Tim oh. Robinson. Oh. Which is a really crazy sketch comedy show. Oh, cool. So he, he's definitely been making me laugh a lot recently. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so I just have two more questions for you, if that's really? okay. Yeah, of course. Let's do them. Um, so what was the last song you turned up and sang along to? Um, Super Trooper by ABBA. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's the last one. Cool. Another song? I don't think I've heard that song. Oh yeah, when we get off, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta listen to it. It's great. Okay, I will. I'm writing that down so I don't forget. Yeah, Super Trooper by by ABBA. I mean, I love ABBA. <laughs> I love yeah. ABBA. Yeah, they're great. Do you know them at all? I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'd be curious of your thoughts about Super Trooper. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll write. Or I'll listen to it and let you know. Okay, yeah, please do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I think the last song that well, just this morning there was a song I was listening to that I turned up and was like singing at the top of my lungs. Oh, go ahead, what song? <laughs> it's Macy Peters new song, Lost the Breakup. Oh, I haven't heard it. I'll listen to it. That'll be my homework for when we finish. Okay. <laughs> Maybe yours? Yeah. All right. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll get it on my phone now. You okay. know what? I, you know what else? Also, I've kind of been singing along to. Oh, what? Is, um, what's that Titanic song? Oh, um. By Celine Dion. Oh, I know which one you're talking about, and I can't remember the name. My heart will go on. My heart will go yeah. on. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I rewatched. I rewatched Titanic like uh, maybe two weeks ago or something. I, because they re-released it in the theater. Oh. That movie rocks my socks off. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that <laughs> that movie actually. Uh, I remember watching it the first time for the first time a few years ago. Yeah. with my family and that movie actually I, it's one of the few movies that actually gave me nightmares oh, no. um, so i like the imagery just all of it freaked me out it, it's hor i mean it is horrible it's horrifying yeah. isn't it yeah what part gave you nightmares or maybe we shouldn't maybe we shouldn't get yeah. into it yeah, and there, there's a Not lot of. You, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of moments. <laughs> yeah, it's a very sad movie, and it's yeah. um, it is terrifying. You know, you're right, you're yeah. right. But um, yeah. but yeah, you know, I like to yeah. get sad in a movie sometimes. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, most of the time, like if a movie makes me cry like it's nice to kind of like get it all out but most of the time i want to avoid things that would make me cry yeah no sure sure you, yeah. you prefer you prefer like a feel-good movie yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah i guess i find that maybe i mean listen hey everybody's got their thing right but sometimes after those sad movies that make me cry afterwards i feel good you know yeah but but I know you. I I hear you. I hear you. I'm excited for the new Pixar. Yeah. Although those are movies that make you cry and are kind of feel good, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. I uh. I just actually speaking of crying, I just watched um a couple weeks ago. I saw the new Shazam movie. And oh. there is a part of the movie that I was just like sobbing in the oh, movie no. theater. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's that's good to know. I I haven't seen it yet, so no spoilers. But I um, won't say anything. <laughs> did it catch you by surprise? Were you not expecting to yeah. cry? Yeah, I I wasn't. 
Yeah. And then my sister went to see the movie over the weekend with a friend and I was telling them about it. And I was like, you have to let me know if you cry during this scene. And then she was like, I, she told me the next day that she, she didn't cry, but she could understand why I was crying. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do you and your sister kind of have different, um, you know, like different, like you like different, you know, are you mostly on the same page about movies or is there a little bit of difference there? Uh, there's a little bit of difference. Like a lot of the times we like the same movies, but then there's some movies that like she likes that I don't like, or I like that she doesn't like. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty of movies, right? Like they're not yeah. everybody's on the same page about all of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a friend of mine, he and I have been trading movies to watch and cause he's, I hate horror movies. So he keeps giving me horror movies oh, no. um, and then I gave him like, I gave him summer days, summer nights uh -huh. uh, a couple weeks ago and he gave me I don't even, I think it was like Jaws or something. Right. And yeah, I was like, okay, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you hate them, but you'll watch them? No, I, I'm reluctant. I yeah. don't want to watch them. Yeah. So, but like, because i i'm like okay we had a deal so i will try it but no guarantees i'll get through it yeah 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 sure and did you get through jaws uh not <laughs> really not because i found it scary just yeah. i don't know i wasn't like very interested in it no kidding what a controversial <laughs> hot take yeah to be um, honest like i can see like, I love Steven Spielberg, but this movie, I don't know. I, one, didn't like all the blood, and then, two, I just, I don't know. There were was a lot of, like, just people talking, <laughs> not really anything. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Um, yeah. I know what you mean. Well, we'll have to tell Steven to try a little harder, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely, you know, I, I have a terrible fear of, um, like, being in open water, you know? Oh, yeah. Even sometimes, like, I'll have it, because I feel like it's one thing, it's kind of normal if you're in the middle of the ocean, you know, to be a little nervous about what's under there. Yeah. But I'll even get scared sometimes if I'm in, like, a freshwater pond, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, what's swimming down there? <laughs> yeah. I, I as a you know? Yeah. No, I know there's nothing down there. I still get scared. Yeah. 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 I, um, I actually, I watched the movie with a good friend of mine. And so it was actually very entertaining because she and I were making, like, we had our own commentary going on through the movie. And so right. it was very entertaining. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. That'd be a good, I feel like that'd be a good, great little, uh, you know, yeah. special features on the DVD. Like I want to see the Maya DVD commentary, DVD. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah. no DVDs anymore, Pico. Come on. Uh, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, my last question for you yeah is um who do you consider to be a real life superhero and why maybe it's like a cheeky you know maybe it's a cheesy answer but i feel like you know both of my parents i have like mm -hmm. a soft spot for and everything they've done for me and my sister and um how i've how i've seen you know, seeing them go through their lives and the things that they they've had to go through, and uh, um, yeah, mom and dad, you know. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love that. You have one. I feel like maybe you, if you talk a little bit, maybe I'll come up with a better answer. 
Um, well, my my answer is my mom and my sister. Well, there you go. Um, okay. Okay. They're, yeah, they're my best friends. And so, yeah. Okay, good. So that you make me feel better about my answer there. <laughs> Okay, good. But yeah. I, I guess I should throw my sister in there too. I have a, I have a sister as well. Oh, cool. You, you asked for one, but I'll give you three. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you. So that was my last question. And I just, I would love to keep talking to you. Thank you so much for calling in. This has like truly been a dream come true to talk with you. Maya, you are just so sweet and lovely. And it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. And, um, you know, maybe we can do like a, maybe we can do like a part two, a follow up at some point, you know? Yeah, I'd love that yeah sweet and um and i hope you make it out to new york you know thank you <laughs> maybe even northern california you know i know you think yeah. you know maybe it's a little spooky but i but i promise <laughs> you it's more magical than spooky okay yeah well that's awesome <laughs> yeah you should google redwoods you know because they are really pretty yeah okay i will yeah Maya, thank you so much you are awesome and you're awesome and uh um, and this has just been such a great part of my afternoon. So thank you. Thank you. You just made my day. So you thank made my you. Day. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Pico. We so much appreciate your time. And hey, if you're ever uh, making your way from New York to Colorado, come through the Seacrest studio and say hi to the kids. I, I absolutely would love to do that. Thank you, Chris. You got it. Have a good rest okay. of your day, Pico. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.